So let's take a step back and look at our definitions and understandings of power. What is it? Why does it matter? In my quest through both academic and practical approaches to organizational health, I formulated a hypothesis that at the root of all organizational dysfunction lies the misuse and the misdistribution of power. So I didn't know if my hypothesis was correct, but in order to explore that, I really had to settle on a useful definition of power. As you might be aware, there's quite a range of understandings about what power is, from something only leaders and politicians have, to it being the opposite of love and therefore to be eschewed, to explorations of power over, power with, power to, and power within. I found the definition that offered the most useful framing for integrating lots of existing definitions was Paul Tillich's definition of power as the drive of every living thing to realize itself with increasing intensity and extensity. This most directly informed the working definition I have of power as the force of enactment within which many of the existing definitions in literature on power fall. Within this broad definition of power, it becomes more clear that there are healthy or generative uses for power and there are destructive uses of power. And that for most of us, the destructive use of power is deeply concerning, which is why we're all here today. So I'd like to clarify that I was particularly interested in the day-to-day -day impacts of destructive power and have chosen to focus this work on what happens inside intact organizations, which is where most of us spend most of our time. Therefore, the exploration about what to do with destructive uses of power we experience from outside our organizations, such as the workings of our government, are outside the scope of this call, though very much worth exploring. Fundamentally, I posit that the best place we can start to undo the endemic tendencies to use destructive power are the places we spend the most time using the force of enactment, and that's at work and at home, rather than at the polls which we may visit for 15 minutes every few years. <laughs>